Hey Capricorn, I'm Chris and we're going to be doing your reading today for the new moon in Scorpio. So you guys have been on my mind a lot because next month we have Saturn going into your sign where it'll stay for about two and a half years roughly. And as a Gemini, it's scaring the shit out of me because you guys are a super organized, put together, disciplined, workhorse kind of sign, right? Like the opposite of my like airy fairy Gemini thing. So I've been preparing myself for like what is to come, right? Like getting my financial house in order, focusing on my work and my career, you know, that kind of thing. But like the new moon in Scorpio, interesting segue because for the new moon in Scorpio, Scorpio is all about power. Right. And you guys are kind of all about power as well, but in a different way. Right. You guys are about like Capricorn is more of like a social status, climbing the so uh, hierarchy, climbing the ladder kind of power. Right. Working hard, uh, upward mobility, uh, money, uh, dis discipline, finances. Right. Organization. Um, but for the new moon in Scorpio, the challenge for you guys well, right here, we got the first card out, the eight of pentacles, like how perfect we're talking about work. We're talking about pleasurable work with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and what I was just going to say about the New Moon in Scorpio for you guys, all the signs are kind of having to get in touch with or contemplate like power and how that relates to them, right? Going deep, unearthing the truth, right? That's what Scorpio is all about, like that deep honesty. But for Capricorn, I think what it's about is sort of like embracing your own power, right? So here we're starting off with the central situation at the Eight of Pentacles. So what this is showing me right here is that work is important, right? Like, and not just the Eight of Pentacles is a sign of, of work, but like, how it's, it's like pleasurable work. It's almost like an emotional work card in a way, right? It's about how you show up in the world kind of through your work. And in the best, at its best, it's, you know, doing a thing you love, right? Working really hard to accomplish, like, something, and, like, getting kind of your dream job. Uh, at its worst, it can mean, like, maybe too much work. Maybe, like, uh, what I was going to say for you guys is maybe investment in work that's not maybe paying off. That's more of a seven of pentacles, but, like, if you're looking at this negatively, right? So... Like I said, Capricorn is a sign all about hierarchy, about status, about working hard, about moving up. And what the Scorpio New Moon is asking you guys to do is to get in touch with your own power, right? To sort of take a step back from the hierarchy, take a step back from, you know, the social ladder idea of power and get in touch with what you can do. It's almost like very enterprising, right? Like very entrepreneurial energy for Capricorn entrepreneurial energy like putting your energy to work for you so what that kind of suggests here hey well i was just going to say seven of swords right we have trickery we have um maybe some i want to say abuses what i was going to say capricorn is like with the idea of the scorpio new moon um bringing challenges for you in terms of like how you see power in the outside world and embracing your own it sort of suggests to me that maybe like your work situations aren't fully satisfying. Maybe like you're facing obstacles. Maybe you're working hard and just like it's not paying off. You're not seeing the results. You know, maybe like you feel like at a standstill at work. And the Seven of Swords, what this is saying to me in relation to the Eight of Pentacles, is that maybe that's exactly what is happening here. That this sort of sense of like things not really going well. Like the seven of swords came up for other signs and I wanted them to tell them to like embrace that energy and just like kind of go forward and with reckless abandon. But for me guys, it feels like maybe like outside sources are messing with your energy is how I want to say that. That's what I meant when like work isn't satisfying. Like we all, you know, maybe don't always love our, our day jobs, but this to me is like kind of obstacles in the day job, like, like things not paying off. Like what I said about the seven of pentacles being about like things not paying off here. We have the seven of swords and look, it's very similar. Like 
this man is running away with seven swords and two of them are on the ground, right? He can't carry them all. Like, it's, it's almost like wasted energy. So again, what this new moon, I think, is asking you guys to do is to get in touch with, like, your own sense of what's going to pay off. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to mean, like, you know, starting in a new business or something to that effect, you know? But it does have to do with, like, taking stock of where your energy is going, where your time is going. It could just mean switching to a new job, where you do feel empowered, where you do have opportunities for forward motion. Like, ultimately, you guys are going to be looking to climb that social ladder, right? I mean, the, the work ladder. But for now, I feel like it's just about putting yourself in a position where that is where you're capable of doing that, right? And we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is all about like structures and how things pay off, right? At its best, it's sort of like someone who's balanced and firm and has this great foundation for like giving. You know, like, look at how his arms are outspread, right? Look at, like, this, this geometric structure around him. It's kind of like one of those lattices of uh, support, right? And this cross balance, right? The scales balance. But look, when you look at these two cards together, what do you see? Like, this is sort of like this structure, this, like, power, this financial material power kind of being undermined by, like, bullshit. You know, like, like this could be somebody is like, maybe some boss is like leading you on. Like maybe instead of, you know, you not getting an opportunity to move forward, maybe someone's been jerking you around for a while, making you feel like there's opportunities and then, you know, like they want you where you are. Right. Or uh, this is definitely, I was going to say maybe it's about relationships and like other things, but this is definitely about work. Right. We already have two pentacles here about your career. I want to say career. I feel like that's where we have to look here, right? Because we're also, with Scorpio, we're talking about, uh, Scorpio isn't like the relationship sign like Libra is, but it still is concerned with relationships and how your energy kind of interacts with other people, right? That's where it's about sex with Scorpio. That's where Scorpio is about like loyalty and friendships, right? It's about the way your energy interacts with others. So it's time to tap into your resources, Capricorn, is what I'm trying to say. It's time to look at yourself and look at the people around you and take stock of like what you have available to you and use your resources to kind of move forward. You know, maybe in this context, it's about asking a friend like, hey, like, I don't know, maybe a referral for a job, maybe like networking in a positive way, you know, not maybe uh, trying to go to parties and like talk up a boss, even though that could work, but it's definitely about tapping into your network, tapping into your resources to see what can move you into like this place, right? Like, or also like, where are people like doing this to you? Where are people making you feel like this? Like not worthwhile, you know, like it's about your worth Capricorn. More pentacles, king of pentacles, right? Like the master of manifestation. Like I started off talking about entrepreneurship. This is like such a card of that to me. This is someone like making their own business, right? Or again, if you're not interested in like starting your own business, this is sort of like just taking a hold of your career, taking a hold of your dreams, your goals related to work. You know, like it's totally possible to have this king of pentacles like independent like manifesting energy within a social structure right within like a corporation or like a regular job it doesn't have to be like an entrepreneur but it it's still asking you to look at your career as something you can create as something you built that's what i want to say like look at like right now it's almost like the way i have these cards hold it's like this guy's like building something upward And again, with like the Six of Pentacles, like it's about that like structure. You know what I mean? 
But all of this is to say, Capricorn, like, all of this is possible, but you have to dig deep. Like I said about Scorpio, like, it's deep. It's, it's honest. It goes, it cuts through the darkness. It cuts through lies and, like, lies. Right? It cuts through all that and goes to, like, the bare bones truth of it all. Like, can, is this not about work? Like, this is all earth here, guys. All of it. And I like this. Like, this is that, like, Capricorn energy that I started off talking about. Like, that enterprising workhorse. You know, that the, the organized, disciplined, like, forward-moving, forward-building energy of your sign. And perfect, we're talking about Saturn in your sign, like, Saturn is a teacher, it's restrictive, it like, kind of course corrects in a way. So this is a perfect time in the next month with this moon cycle to kind of get in touch with like, where you want to be, where you want to end up, because Saturn can be painful, but it also rewards work. So if you're putting in the work, if you're directing your energy into the right places, like by the end of that two year transit and during it, you're going to see it. It's going to become material, right? This could mean like, to me right now, I'm getting the idea like at the end of Saturn in your sign, like this is like somebody getting a house that they've been saving for, you know, some moving so somewhere, getting a car. Like I feel like material acquisition, here, right? But like, Things that you've been holding out for. You're a sacrificing sign. You like will put off pleasure to get what you want in the long term. And I feel long term success. I really do. But only if you get away from this. Right? You have to tap into your inner strength and your inner power and get away from this. Be real. Like, I understand that you like security and like stability and... You know, maybe the idea of changing jobs or changing careers or like chasing the thing you've been wanting to get is scary, but like this is unempowering, right? Like this is somebody who is like so scared to make big moves so they stay at like a shitty job where nothing is paying off. So keep that in mind, like look, look for the long haul, look, look at where you want to end up, like. Like what's your, like what's your two-year plan, Capricorn? I'm just gonna take these three popped out. All right. So you have the Empress, the Three of Cups, and the King of Wands. So two kings so far, right? Like this is just power. This is just mastery of the king of pentacles is manifester in the material way and the king of wands is like focus and ambition right like look at the way he's got the eye on the flame look at the way his horse is like fierce and ready to move forward he's charging forward so uh capricorn like this suggests to me like a couple things like, first of all, these do represent people. And usually I, I think of it as uh, the energy that you're embodying. And that's what first and, for first and foremost I'm going to say. Is like, you will be embracing this like drive and goal and really ambitious energy to like make things happen. But also what I was saying before about your network. Right? This is about connecting with powerful people as well. You know, getting away from maybe, like I was saying before, like bosses who are jerking you around or like people who can really empower your career. People who are really going to be supportive. That could even mean like a spouse who, you know, works enough that they can support like a career change maybe. Like if you have to take a little bit of a financial hit for something, this shows me like that support system. Right. And the three of cups kind of came up for me uh, for Pisces in a kind of negative way where it's like people fucking around. But this is like support system to me. These are people who make you feel good. 
right? These are people you can sit around and like talk goals. Like Three of Cups is all about like friends and celebration and good times, right? And to me right now when I'm looking at it, I kind of see like people sitting around like a table having some drinks like manifesting like with their with their words like setting intentions setting goals right this could be just like sitting around with friends and daydreaming and talking about like where you want to end up with something for instance but this is your support system capricorn like the people who make you feel happy the people who make you feel good the people who make you feel driven And then we, we're here with the Empress. Nurturing energy. Like, growing energy. Like, I can't get over how much, like, earthy energy there is in this spread. And, like, encouraging stuff, too, right? Like, these are empowered pentacle cards. This is growth. Like... If you can sum up all four of these cards together in one word, it's growth. Right? It's like things are paying off. The Empress is a nurturing energy. Right? She kind of has that maternal energy. Where she like nurtures things and makes them grow. Right? The ruler of the four queens of the tarot. So what was I just saying about people who make you feel good? People who make you feel driven. People who make you feel powerful and successful and will help you along your way. This is yet another card to me of like somebody who can do really good things for you. Right? Like this doesn't feel to me as directly as the kings did as like a networking kind of energy this feels more like someone who's taking care of your heart and capricorn like you're maybe not always the most emotionally open sign to, to put it nicely <laughs> um but it's okay to like acknowledge that you need help to acknowledge that you you know need to lean on people even if it's like just your mother, like this is the mother card too, right? So if that's all it is, then like go for it. But you have to put yourself in this mindset of like, again, I was saying the entrepreneurial spirit, like you don't have loyalty to other people who are like putting you in these positions. You don't have loyalty to a job that's not paying off. Even if someone, like, took a chance with you and did something great, like, it doesn't matter. It's about you. And, like, they'll be fine, right? Like, it's about you taking care of you. You being able to take care of your family. You being able to, you know, like I said, at the end of Saturn in, in your sign, like, having that house. Having that, like, material progress. Ha! <laughs> Remember what I said before? Underlying it all, the seven of pentacles. Things not paying off. Right? Sometimes this is a nice card of like patiently waiting for things to pay off. But also to me, I bring it up a lot of as a card of like, like these fruits kind of just like rotting on the vine. Like things not paying off. Like this guy is in this mindset where he's just waiting and waiting and waiting and just nothing is happening. I love when that happens. I love when I'm like, if this card came up, this would explain it exactly, and then it comes up. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Underlying it all. Alright, so let's pull some cards for your paths, the two paths that are pre presented to you for this next moon, moon cycle. And... Um, we got a lot of cards already, so we'll pull a couple of outcome and then we'll do some clarifying, right? But Capricorn, like, I'm inspired by your energy. You know, like, it's scary this Saturn entering Capricorn, but also, like, has been empowering me to, like, make smart decisions, to be practical, to be grounded. 
Hey. All right, guys. Queen of Wands, one path. The Magician, the other path. So there's a lot of people in this spread. Queen, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Empress, the Magician. Like, we were talking about people, right? But, like, what a better card, again, for that entrepreneurial spirit. The Magician is the manifester. He creates. He uses his resources to make his will, like, Manifest in the real world. You know what I mean? That felt like a Marco Rubio moment. Like... <laughs> anyway. Um, and you know, on the other path, we have the Queen of Wands. By no means like an unempowered card, right? By no means. But... To me right now, a card of the status quo, a card of like being firmly planted in like the way things are going now. So like you could, again, to use the job as an example, you could state your job and you could, you could have success, right? Like, but this to me is freer. It's uh, what we're talking about here with Scorpio, with being empowered, taking control of your destiny. I like this so much more for you. Rather than like kind of sitting here waiting for things to pay off. Like this card came up for another sign and, and I saw it as like a not lazy, but not really doing anything. Like, she just kind of almost resting on her laurels a little bit. You know, like, this is a little more passive than I want for you guys for this moon cycle, that I want for you for the next few years. Be the magician. Be the manifester. Like, create your own destiny. Create your own career path. Right? Like, step outside. Perfect. Saying step out uh, the hierarchy, right? Like, step outside of the hierarchy. Step outside of the structure. And be okay, Capricorn, with, like, defining success for yourself. For, you know, having a successful career that isn't necessarily, like, dictated to you. You can still climb the social ladder, but, like, in ways that will pay off. In ways that are more in line with, like, what you want and who you want to be. So far, very promising. Like, very promising. And again, like, this Queen of Wands, like, by no means, like, a weak, unempowered card, but... worst case scenario you're still gonna like do your thing like Capricorn isn't gonna like sit back and like not be successful right I don't think you guys can do that so we're gonna pull an outcome card maybe two or three we'll see we kind of have a lot of cards here already but I think that there was like a lot of good important energy happening here Ten of Swords. I actually really like this for what we're talking about. Giving up. Like, sometimes admitting defeat is, like, the best thing to do. Sometimes it's best to, like, admit you lost. Admit that, like, things are going nowhere. Break your ties. Feel, be defeated a little bit. Because the tens also represent the end, right? Something coming to an end. So a lot of people see the ten of swords as almost like it's painful, but it's almost a relief, right? It means that like you're not stuck in this like in this place, right? Like sure you're beaten up, but it's over. 
like the worst is over. And so for an outcome card, I like this for you guys. But it also has a caveat, like it's not going to be easy. That's why there's all this mention of support and like nurturing. Because you're going to need this like to deal with this energy. You're going to need these people. You're going to need this like kind of taking care of your emotions. Because when this comes your way, and I feel like it's going to come your way, I feel like there's going to be like a major shift in some way before the end of the year. With regards to your career, like maybe losing a job, maybe quitting or something. There's going to be a big shift in your career. That's what the Ten of Swords is saying to me. For this new, for this cycle, moon cycle, but also like for the rest of the year, like by the next new moon, there's like a week or two left in the year. Okay. Don't, like, get caught up in, like, thinking that, like, giving up or quitting is, like, weak or, like, it means you're a failure. How beautiful. Ace of Swords, like, right after the Ten of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. This is a fresh start. This is, like, a new beginning. This is, like, you taking the Ace of Swords to me is about, like, wielding that sword and like making things happen about cutting away bullshit about like seeing things clearly a fresh clear start where like you're empowered where you're empowered capricorn how nice like just as i'm saying like don't fret over this like what comes out next the end and the beginning and fresh powerful clean start cool reading Capricorn like very cool reading like this makes me feel like good you know like this makes me feel like you're moving to a good place this makes me feel like that Saturn energy that's coming is going to empower you like it's your ruling planet in its home sign. Very, very empowering time for you these next two and a half years. Very much so. More people. The Princess of Pentacles. So this is beautiful, right? Like, the Princess of Pentacles is like, kind of, of the pentacle, she's kind of the dreamer, right? She is uh, young and ambitious and, like, going for it. Like, look at the way she's, like, running through the field. Look, look at you, little Capricorn, showing up in your own, in your own reading. I like that. So, to me, this is, like, again, just, like, a reiteration of that fresh start. The Princess of Pentacles is like starting out new. She's like inspired. She's like going to end up here someday, right? But like this is sort of to me like the first step on that path. So like embrace the, the pursuit with vigor, with freshness, with like clear headedness. This is a fresh start. This is, like, how much fresher of a start with relation to your work can you get here? Chase your dreams. Because, like, the Princess of Pentacles, like, she's of the suit of Earth. So it's kind of like, to me, always something that's going to pay off. Right? Like, sure, she's young and, like, naive a little bit, maybe, and, like, a little innocent, but, like, she's driven. Like, she has the goat there with her. The sign of, the symbol of Capricorn. 
Surefootedness. Steady progress. Growth. She's like going after it because she. this is like someone who is pursuing a dream, but it's because they like know they have a talent, because they know they have what it takes, the resources, for it to actually become a reality. The most grounded, I feel like, of the princesses. The most like sure-footed, the most like confident. And not like a Princess of Wands where the confidence is like arrogance a little bit and like, you know, like just blind ambition. She's focused. And then when you get to the uh, Prince of Pentacles, like that's when you start making steps. That's when the first start, re like results start coming in. But this is just the beginning. All right, so let's just do a little, a couple of Oracle cards for clarification for like added perspective here. And then we'll take a quick look at the cards. And then, like, you guys, I think, have a lot to think about. Really, really, really prepare yourself. I'm preparing myself for Saturn and Capricorn because, like I said, I'm a little nervous because I haven't been the most grounded, the most responsible with my money and stuff like that. So it's time for me to get serious because like if I'm not by the time this energy comes in like it's going to just fuck up my life and so I want to get my ducks in a row for you guys I want you to prepare for it because like there's so much greatness that's going to be like there available to you so much like ability resilience so much ability to create sometimes I don't like this card because it comes it's like it has a positive message, right? Like perseverance about like getting through hard times, like these desert plants are like resourceful, like in knowing how to survive. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I like would prefer you to thrive rather than survive. But like Capricorn along with Taurus, I would say like, like really Taurus is like the sign that's more, uh, associated with like perseverance but i mean capricorn like you're the next in my list there right like the way you can just what i say before about like sacrificing like you can put yourself through it you can see the long term you can struggle a little bit now because it's going to pay off you got that like toughness you got that grit This is very encouraging. This makes me feel like things are going to happen. Shape-shifting. The fox. These two to me right now together are kind of like that new life I was talking about. Like changing your attitude, changing your belief system, t changing the stories you tell yourself about like what you need and like who you are. And this is like sort of taking on a new identity in a way. The identity of somebody who is the master of their own fate. The creator of their own destiny, like who still climbs the social ladder but isn't dependent on it. Like, that's so empowering. These cards are just, like, jumping out today, Capricorn. Like, they don't usually jump out like this to me. But something about, like, what's going on here, like, you got a lot of cards that are coming out here. Like, I'm struggling to not have these, like, fall out of my hand. A lot of energy, like, a lot of power here. A lot of people, like, big things happening for Capricorn. Hey, how nice. Like, as your final oracle card, we have birth. We have the egg. This, to me, is, like, again that like fresh start energy, right? 
that like things are about to come to fruition, things are about to manifest. But to me right now, what I want to say with this card is like things are on their way. But what I've been saying about preparing, like take the time, like nurture yourself, reflect so that when the new year comes, like things start to happen, the egg starts to hatch, right? But it's about taking care of it now. This again, like taking on a new identity, taking on like a new life. Like what I said to you guys about like the way that like big transitions are going to happen by the end of the year. And then by the end of the Saturn transit in your sign, like real material progress where you can see your work paying off. Like this is the promise of that, right? You need to have a little patience, but this is the promise of success. All right. So let's take a quick look at the card Capricorn. So you guys can see here, like, Lots and lots of energy, lots of people, a lot of it. Tap into your network, Capricorn. These two together, like, let people nurture you, let people take care of you, take care of your heart, take care of yourself, right? Like, be patient with yourself. Be, be aware of this shit and how it's undermining this other stuff. All this forward movement, right? It's almost like you're moving away from these with these two cards towards this. The Princess of Pentacles is so like about to make things happen, right? Like the Magician is just bringing things into being. All of that based around pleasurable work. And not just like pleasurable work and like you love your job, but like feeling satisfied, feeling good about what it's bringing into your life. Right? Making those shifts, starting over new, new perspectives, new identity, new outlook. And then like being patient and letting things happen. Wait, letting things manifest in time. You're just, you're just a princess now in this new outlook, right? It's just starting. So understand it's going to take time, but like prepare for it. Like I said, you guys can see the long haul. All right, Capricorn. So all around here, very encouraging. Very encouraging. Big things happening for you. Big energies coming your way. And I see here like you handling it. And you like really taking a hold of your power, taking control of your fate, of your career, and making the moves you have to make to be happy. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope that this was useful. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really like the comments, you know, because like doing readings through this way. I kind of miss out a little bit on like that dialogue you get to have with someone when you're reading their cards. Like that's always been like one of my favorite things about it. So if something resonated with you, let me know. If it didn't, also let me know. I'm always here for the feedback. And um, good luck to you guys with this new moon energy. And we'll talk again before Saturn enters Capricorn. And just like start getting ready to be like amazing to just like make all the greatest things happen for yourself all right guys i will talk to you in a few weeks when we have our next full moon all right until then be good bye